So I'm about to mix the solution for the nebulizer. And before I get into this, I want to just remind you that I am not giving medical advice. You need to check with your doctor and make sure that this is the right thing for you at a time like this, especially when you're feeling immune challenged, okay? Make a saline solution, sodium chloride. What I'm doing is using distilled water and pink Himalayan salt. I chose this one from Ancient Ocean. I purchased this on Amazon. You wanna get the fine pink salt. Now you can buy saline solution online. It will come prepared for you. And it is, uh, of course, more expensive, but it's nice to just make your own. One teaspoon per pint of distilled water. So what I'm going to do is make a smaller solution, and I'm using um, a pint is two cups, so we're going to do one cup. Here's my salt, and we're going to do half a teaspoon. And there. And you can give it a swirl, but to really mix it, you want to put it in a glass jar. And I'm going to use this one I purchased when I got my Berkey water filter. I got a few of these. These are really handy. And so you could store this simply as your solution. Now, I actually have a little bit of residue at the bottom of my measuring cup, so I'm going to rinse that out with a little more distilled water and swirl it, add it to my decanter. Okay, done. Give it a shake. Like I said, you could store this in the fridge for maybe up to two months. But I'm going to use a smaller amount of solution. When you use a nebulizer, you're really not putting a whole lot of uh, liquid into the nebulizer. So unless you're really, uh, I don't know, you have a big party of uh, people or big family and uh, you're going to use it in a short amount of time, you could do the full pint i'm doing half a pint like i mentioned all right now you want to make your mixture of the hydrogen peroxide with the saline solution you can do a small amount and set it aside i usually keep it for maybe a day or two um and then i mix another small batch and you can do i think a bigger batch and keep that in the fridge as well so i'm going to mix saline solution my saline with food grade hydrogen peroxide, and I purchased this one. I got the 3%. What you're going to do is you can dilute that down to 1 or 0.1%. And the way you do that is by mixing a tiny bit of hydrogen peroxide with a lot more of your saline solution. So we're going to do that now. The ratio I use is a quarter teaspoon hydrogen peroxide with seven and a quarter teaspoons of the saline. Okay. That is the seven teaspoons and a little bit more, tiny bit more. You're gonna probably over pour a bit, that's okay. There. And a quarter teaspoon of the food grade hydrogen peroxide, tiny bit. There's your solution. So this is going into the nebulizer. 